What's up? What's up? How's everybody Saturday going? I want to send my love out to my relatives. They know who I am. They know why. I'm, I'm, you're in my prayers and I love you. They know who I They know why and they know what I'm talking about. So just know you're not, you're, I'm here for you. Anything you need, I got you. But I wanted to come on and hop on because I want to tell my supporters, thank you. Our numbers are growing, guys. And see, the more we grow and the more we learn, we'll be able to tell some other people because that's the kind of people we are. But our numbers are growing, y'all. And it's only because, it's only because of y'all. Y'all are the reason why the numbers are growing. So I will be remiss if I didn't get on here and tell all my supporters on Facebook, thank you. All my subscribers on YouTube, thank you. You didn't have to do it. And don't think I don't appreciate it. Because like I tell anybody, if you're trying to grow your social media creativity, why would you stop if your numbers are growing? Why would you stop if somebody say, oh, you post too much, oh, da, da. but you know what? I learned to respect people's boundaries with the camera. And I also learned to respect people's businesses with the camera. Most of the time, God kind of lead me what and what not to do too. So, you know, I be very, very careful around kids. You know, um, for example, I've, I was at Vacation Bible School last week, all last week. But over majority of the kids were my relatives, you know. And they're proud of their kids, so they're proud if I take a picture and post it on Facebook. And um, my one of my cousin's children, she, she has her own TikTok and Instagram and all that. So she's used to social media. And then it's a, a lot, most children that I post, a lot of their other relatives post them on their pages too. So, you know. And uh, every, like everybody don't like to be filmed, and I and I understand that, I respect that. That's the only thing that I have to make sure I um, stay conscious about, because you know my life is an open book. Everybody know what what I put down. They they know what I can put down. They know what I have put down. All of it ain't been pretty, but because of the hard and rough times, and the tragic situations, and the deaths, and the PTSD and all that and this and that. God is so good. He just let you just be all right with it, you know? And ain't nothing wrong with being all right with it. I was telling my aunt today about if you tell someone, when we tell somebody the truth, all we got to do is wait. So you, I'm, you know what? I ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to tell, I'm going to make this truth, truthful statement. Then I'm going to look them dead in the eye and wait. Because so many times over the years, when I felt like I would disappoint somebody, I would fabricate the truth or tell a lie because I was afraid. But now, I just got to wait. I let the truth out without being offensive to best I can and without not having a pure motive. And once I state the fact, I'm going to wait. Most people, especially if you look at my page, know my um, address. Most people know my telephone number. I have text, I have email. You know, and, and I say that because if anybody have questions, I'm available. We can sit down. And like I tell people, I don't cuss, fuss, shoot, cut, or call the police. I don't do none of those things. So I leave the rest up to you. What what what, what you think will happen when I after I wait. So when I tell my truth, 
And all I got to do is wait. I ain't even gonna fold my arms like I said I was gonna do and pose. I ain't even gonna fold my arms and pose, like put one leg to the side out and fold my arms. I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna wait. If I tell you the truth, all I can do is wait. Wait to see what the response is. I don't know what it'll be. But that's the only thing God, I, I will have to do by living an honest life. Wait to see what you going to do about it, you know. And sometimes it sounds like it's aggressive when I say it like that. But some of us are literally fighting for our lives, especially our spiritual life. I don't want to walk around here in so much pain where I can't pray no more. Or I can't sing no more. Even though I can't sing, I, I still want to sing. Or I can't rap no more. I'm a rapper too. I can rap. Or I can't fix cars no more. I'm a mechanic, you know. Or it's a, I can't counsel no more. I, I've got a master's degree in mental health counseling. But I tell people, my grandma taught me all that stuff. I just learned the technical word for it when I went to grad school. And that student loan money be good at grad school. You don't even have to work. I ain't have to work for 10 years because of that student loan money. And I got a degree, and if I want to use it, I will. And if, if I want to ask for loan forgiveness, I will. But right now, I don't have a job, so they know I don't. And so my next deferment is due in 2024. All you got to do is talk to them people. And I owe over $200 and some thousand dollars in student loans. They know it. Yeah, I'm saying it on social media, but, the, but my social security number tell it all. You can't hide from these things, but I'm, I'm telling you to say this. All I do is keep in touch with them people. I talk to these people. Okay, I'm going to get out the phone because there's a sheriff behind me and I don't want no mess out of nobody. <laughs>